surgery is a very, very complicated world, and it's a place where a lot of people tend to not have a lot of knowledge in because it's tends to be political or it's it's it's, it's um, very nebulous. And as opposed to being a consulting company that just kind of throws a bunch of smart people at the problem, um, we actually have a lot of people who have a lot of experience in the surgical space to help offset those hurdles of the learning curve that those smart people will have. Um, so we're able to accelerate solutions that a lot of organizations or a lot of other organizations can't. And then, but we're also able to do it in a way that we kind of are able to hand the reins to the hospital or the facility so it's sustainable in a way that a lot of other companies aren't able to. You know, each client has their own nuances of what they need. You know, some of it could be scheduling, some of it could be surgeon access, some of it could be material management, some of it could be anesthesia. You know, but I think at the start, we're able to go into a hospital or a facility and say, hey, here are here's where you are today compared to what is best practice and compared to what we see in terms of a baseline when we go into an organization. And here are the key areas you need to focus in on, and here's what you could actually elicit as a result from that. You know, and, and then I think the key there is a lot of companies can do that assessment part. I, I don't think they can do it as well as us because we actually have the experience along with it. Um, but when you, what, what we can handhold an organization through the implementation, you know, what I need is a physician colleague, you know, to be able to hear, here's the data, here's the story. Okay, here's what we think needs to happen, but you, using your clinical lens, can you like help provide that context, you know, and then have the conversation with your surgical peers or your anesthesiology peers, you know, to, to get them to kind of see the, the light. And uh, I think through that is how we are able to make a difference much more than, you know, just me being able to have that data. And once we're able to move that from our physician to their physician, when I'm able to empower their physician with that data for them to have those crucial conversations, then we, then they really are able to own the change that we've made and sustain it even once we're gone. So we create performance improvement teams. Those performance improvement teams have accountability to our governance. You know what I mean? So there's always that layer of alignment and structure in terms of how we're organizing things. Um, but some clients, you know, they need some, but they're short staffed. You know, they need to move the cheese Quickly, we need to make sure we get surgeon buy-in. You know, so sometimes we'll go in there, here's a prescriptive solution. What do you guys think? Is this something you could tolerate? You know, versus other organizations where they have the, ban the bandwidth say, no, we want to come together and really think as how we want to organize solutions. So we'll be more facilitators, kind of source what they think they need to do. You know, but I think through that, the, the goal is that we're actually able to see the needle change. Whether it's first case on time starts, turnover time, and, and I think one thing I really admire about our team is there's a sense of pragmatism. You know, we're going to make the change. It may not be through this first solution, you know, but so long as we iterate and we're actually constantly working towards that change, the, the surgeons see it, the anesthesiologists see it, that's the mindset change that we actually are able to hardware in the organization that, you know, it's not a one-stop fix. You know, it's this continuous improvement life cycle that we have to iterate, you know, to get to where we need to be. And then we move on to the next challenge. And I, I think that that sort of thinking is what we try to bring to our clients. And, and hopefully once we're gone, that's, that's sustained.